What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. This is a wild day. It's a little weird because it's a Sunday, right? And uh, it is currently 9.46 a.m., which is not bothersome because I get up at the same time every day at about 5 a.m. anyway. Um, but I'm on my way down to Little Caesars Arena, um, which I would usually just spend the entire day at the crib with family or going to the show or doing something you know, unique or whatever like that. But we're going to a brunch, more like breakfast, brunch, a 10 a.m. brunch. And what is it for again? Okay, Pistons players and Isaiah Thomas is going to be there. I think it got something to do with them going to play in Paris or something like that. So what they like to do a lot of times is my rep um, and organization likes to invite, you know, us or, you know, certain people or whatever that spend a certain amount of money or who, who has certain seats and spend a certain amount of money, basically, um, to these events to do brunches and special meetings and champagne and toast and different events and i like them i think that they're awesome i don't always get to make it to most of them but most of them some of them i do get to um that's convenient we even thought about just sleeping in because we'd be up laughing and watching netflix and all of that junk what's we watching top gun the first one last night yeah uh, we didn't get to watch it all but <laughs> we went top gun you know what i'm saying no but but aside from that right um, I want to kind of give y'all some insight on why you need to change your lifestyle and your circle and not necessarily change your your habits when it comes to how it is that you move in once you get money, once you get in resources, once you get to certain levels and you continue to elevate. And there, there are certain levels, right? And again, in, in previous videos, I differentiated or I separated exactly what the difference is between uh, rich people that live certain lifestyles, right? There are several different types of, ri of rich people. And just to give you a little bit of a snapshot of what I said, you know, there's people that on paper net worth, which is how we judge or evaluate whether or not somebody is rich. Net worth may, may be above a million, but they certainly can't maintain or live a certain lifestyle. They can't, you know, get seats that is a hundred thousand um, dollars a year. They can't, you know, go out and get big extravagant cars or whatever like that, because although their net worth is a million plus on paper, their income is significantly lower. And so their assets is largely what substanti substantiates whether or not they're a millionaire or not, but they can't live a, an opulent lifestyle, which is cool, right? And living an opulent lifestyle is a choice. That is not something that is required. Uh, because somebody was able to acquire a net worth of a million or more, that should be congratulated and I think that that's an awesome thing, right? That, that's not a knock at all. And we're not talking about the middle class. We're not talking about poor. We're talking about rich people, right? But then there's there's a separate, um, a separate type of rich person, right? Because those people, right? That asset may be tied up into their house and their retirement, and they may not have made a lot of money every year, but they've invested wisely. Wisely, they've lived frugal, and they comfortable, right? And that's great. But then there's a different type of rich person, right? And that type of rich person is a person that can substantiate, um, you know, a significant net worth. They do invest. They have a, you know, a portfolio that, you know, spans across different things, whether it be watches and real estate, and different businesses or whatever. But that person makes a significant amount of money as far as their actual income, or they generate a lot of, a lot of revenue with their business, and then they pay themselves a minimal amount of money in order to you know, prevent themselves from paying a crazy amount of taxes. But that type of rich person is the person that then spends a lot of money on uh, experiences and they go and travel places and they understand that money works a little bit differently. And so they know how to move it around a little bit more strategically in order to ensure that they can live the life that they wanna live while also minimizing how much money they have to pay in taxes to the federal government. If you're not familiar with how this works, Make sure you tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Make sure y'all also tap into the Alpha Juice Company because when you get money and when you get rich, you should also have a phenomenal body. And that's what we're transitioning into. Now that we've worked ourselves all the way up into the space that we want to be in, we should look the part two. So 
Uh, this summer, we're going summer bodies. We got the Alpha Juice Company on deck. The website is in the description as well as uh, pinned, to the, pinned to the chat. And then all of my discount codes for you to actually be able to leverage that and become successful is going to be awesome, right? So make sure y'all tap into that. But um, the thing that I want to really, really hit on today is that you should not have to change your lifestyle because you fear what other people around you that you came up with or that were around you previously are going to think about you, how they're going to operate around you, and whether or not their jealousy is going to impact how it is that you operate within that relationship, all right? And so, you know, one of the things that kind of kind of gave me that this thought is everything that's been happening to rappers, everything that's been happening to entertainers, everything that's been happening to content creators, like CJ So Cool, right? We all know that CJ So Cool um, got hit up for like four, four times and stuff like that. And, and in a way, he's a victim of, of his own success. But you have to move around people differently because you can't you can't take everybody with you. Everybody not going to be happy for you. There is some some segment of jealousy. Even when it comes to family members, you can't still hang around the same people that you hung around previously because they may not necessarily be happy for you or they feel like you owe them something. And so they have to tax you or they're pulling on you. They're pulling on your energy. They're pulling on your resources. Um, and instead of them learning from you so that they can do it a little bit differently, um, they decide that they just want to get at you or they want to be mad at you or next thing you know, you money making midget getting set up by your uncle and all of that type of stuff. And so the better move is not to say, okay, well, I'm going to change the way that I operate around these people because I feel an obligation to still keep it real. No, sometimes you outgrow your circumstances. It doesn't mean that they're bad people. It doesn't mean that, you know, you're not, you're not cool with people. But what it does mean is that you might be growing in a different direction and that in order for you to really continue to grow and have that growth curve, you have to surround yourself with people that are like-minded or people that are smarter than you, better than you, or going in the direction that you're going in. It don't it don't mean that you gotta act snobby, it don't mean that you gotta act stuck up to people because I love everybody, real talk. And if anybody has ever met me in person, whether you ran into me or the or whether we linked up at the Patreon meetups, make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. You know that I am one of the coolest people ever. I look at myself as a regular everyday human. However, I'm going to wear my Rolexes. I'm going to drive my Porsche. I'm going to live my lifestyle. I'm just not going to be caught up in spaces or in environments that make me fool, right? I'm going to move strategically. I'm going to move into a gated community. I'm going to move around with security. I'm going to make sure that the building that I'm in is secure. And, and I'm only going to show or, or live or comfortably talk about certain things around people that are like-minded that are in the same spaces as me. I'm not going to be getting caught up trying to keep it real for everybody because that's how you get real broke, that's how you get real robbed, and that's how you become real fool. Our problem a lot of times, people that come from nothing, um, is that we don't get a chance to be able to really transition because we don't start to around, you know, change our mindset and evolve to be you know, a business instead of looking at things still about keeping it real or whatever and we got so many different examples throughout history of people that kept it real went broke um and then when you when you run out of money all of the people that was supposedly there for you they know where to be found all of a sudden right so don't get caught up trying to fulfill obligations for other people that don't necessarily have your best interest at heart also it is okay for you to grow and move in a different directions and you do not have to be stuck in this space or in this mindset where you feel like you owe people anything or you have to change a lifestyle in order to make sure that you got to not be fooled around certain people or not be looked at or not be jealous upon and all of this other type of stuff. You can have a great life around and live around other people that also enjoy, you know, the lifestyle that you have and, and all of that. You just got to be a little bit more strategic and more mature and being willing to adjust and not just stay the same. All right, that's my gem for you right now. I love you. I appreciate you. Don't get caught up trying to keep it real for people that don't even care nothing about you in the first place. They don't. I know who rock with me. I know who care for me. I know who really hold me down. I know who got my back. And those are the people that I'm bringing with me. And then the people that 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 really is fans, but they really 
you know, every single time that they, that they talk about you, you know, every time they comment in a video, I ain't deleting their comments or nothing like that. I ain't doing that. I ain't even gonna read the comment. I let my editors handle it, handle it. I let the people that manage my accounts and stuff like that handle it. I'm not dealing with that nonsense. Like, I'm living in bliss. I can't let anything and anyone take my positive energy because, you know, I feel so great and I know that I've earned my lifestyle and it didn't come from shortcuts. But again, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all make that adjustment. I'll let y'all later. Peace.